Hello again. So I'm going to do an unboxing of this light. Supernova M99 DIY Pro, the Dynamo light. Should put about, out about 1100 lumens, which is possible. I think about 10 years ago I already did a triple that put out about 800 lumens. And with the current improvements of LEDs, their efficiency shouldn't be a problem. The main issue is how well does it distribute the light on the road. The king of that is this light, the Philips Saferide 80. Still, it's from 2009 originally. This version is from 2012 in, with neutral white light at the top end of the neutral spectrum, about 5000 Kelvin. About 4000 Kelvin or a bit lower even is better actually, but yeah manufacturers don't seem interested in in making that I've, I've tried it with a lot of them to convince them to do that and they're just not interested in any case i will be comparing these two and note that for um for comparisons for the video i will make a video you need to be aware of some issues such as Here's, for example, a beam shot. Is that lights that look very bright close to you need not be better. Um, so this region, but they look more bright. A light looks more bright if it puts out a lot of light close to you, which is on the bot bottom of the beam shot. Then on the top of the beam shot, because this is a small area. So you get a small area and you see that it's bright, or here you see a big area that it's bright, and then this light looks actually better, but it's not. Uh, there are also the problems with, for example, the dynamic range of the both the computer screen and the camera. So what, he, what looks black here is actually where you can still see quite well with your own eyes. Um, then there's the issue of aiming you you look at certain regions in the on the road that's where you aim this is also why this issue of uh, a close beam closely illuminated beam versus a one that illuminates far away is very difficult to judge from a screen uh, I, I gave an, uh, a way to do that approximately on my website but in any case, if I make a video or when I make a video, then I will tell you that in reality what it is like. So a reviewer's comments about what it is like, what you can see to the sides, how far it illuminates the road really, how sharp the cutoff is, etc. It's very important. You cannot properly judge that from beam shots or, or it's very, very difficult. Um, so let's... Unbox the Supernova M99 DY Pro. I'm using, going to use this mount. It's a Bush and Muller mount. Uh, let's see. Let's take off the cardboard. So, okay. I'm probably not going to like this light because it uh, probably uses the same reflector as the M99 that I tested. Along with a light from uh, from the other German manufacturer, oh, the name escapes me for a second. Ah, Lupine, yes. And of course, I compared it with to this one, and this one is the best in terms of even beam, and in light color. The Lupine is pretty bad in that respect. Uh, the Supernova is also bad in that respect, but it's even worse because of a hot, big hotspot. So, yeah, anleitung, manual, okay, it's in here, then we have the lights, all right, let's see, so this is pretty expensive light, but I thought, yeah, why not try it, if I don't keep it, then I will, uh, yeah, I will sell it, but if I will keep it, then only as a reference, likely. Here you can see the LEDs. Uh, let's see, and here at the bottom we have... Let's see, what's this? Ah, yes, this is the 
activator button for on the handlebar. And here we have this. Ah, uh, yeah, a map. This is mount with the O wings for on the handlebar. So you can see that here. All right. So it looks interesting. I'm not going to run it without tail lights. I don't know if you can use standard tail lights or only their own tail lights, but I will check that later. So it looks, of course, as always, it looks well made by Supernova. It's just a crappy company. In any case, I will let you know once I've done my tests. See you in the next video. Bye.